you so I guess see you on that's good to, good to see you on my stern <laughs> I'm out of here Hasta la vista hey it's the morning and uh yeah life is stable on bus don't get one mark I slept comfortably well sans of you in the morning Swim. I put the G back up today, and then put the motor like Cleveland. So, there. It's almost mid-afternoon, and 15 20 knots northeast. It's supposed to be southerly, of course. So, it is. Hasta la vista. Voilà, alors il y a ma marque euh, là-bas, euh, ouverte, je ne sais pas si vous la voyez. Et euh, c'était un peu, un peu, euh, il voilà, y a des maisons de rêve là, si vous voulez des maisons euh, pleines de moustiques et de midges, euh, c'est là qu'il faut acheter, en plus c'est vraiment pas cher, hein. tu peux avoir euh, une grosse baraque pour euh, moins de 50 000 euros. Euh, c'est vraiment le rêve et c'est bien, mais bon, c'est... On ne voit pas, il sera, il sera heureux, c'est beau. Voilà. Bon, voilà. Et euh. Bon, c'est Anna. Et hasta la vista! Ok, this is my first sale with Alsa on my own. Motor sale. Just a Jeep. Ah, uh, there's. Not even 10 knots of wind. And I'm doing. Ah, uh, 6 7 knots. Um, with the main, like, <laughs> if I had the main, I would have no outboard, like, it's barely working, it's just there for safety, I guess. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So, I'm happy. I really want my main now. Really, really want my main. Hasta la vista. That's it, I'm back in Reby Bay. Uh, like the cell, a oh, good motor cell, and um, put up all my line. And I'm now gonna do a bursting on my own. And there was 15 20 knots, which I'm happy. <laughs> I'm so glad Bomb was wrong, and there is no thunderstorm, and I had a great day. So, yeah. Now I'm going to try not to make uh, any um, any bump on my boat because she just come back from the boat yard. So I'm going to do a first boosting. See you. Hasta la vista. That's it. First sell uh, solo on Asta. Um, yeah, I'm just going to peel right now. I'm doing, uh, I was doing 10 knots just before. Um, I'm doing like 7 now. My main is, um, yeah, I My main is adjusting. I'm on the second reef at the front and on the first reef at the back. So. I didn't hook the right thing on the horn, so I'm gonna check a rip and um, yeah, I'm gonna anchor on Phil Island for the night. A lot of views are all getting crazy over the footy. I'm hoping I'm gonna have it all on my own. So, hasta la vista. This is too cool for not to be shared, so, me on Botina uh, Peel. I sorted my main. I decided to go with the second reef. Uh, so it was good. The training, shaking reef, footing reef. Uh, now, yeah, we're doing 10 knots or something. But she needs the anchorage, so not of boots. So I'm gonna be yeah, foot. And uh, yeah, that's a solo. She's, she's so beautiful. I just can't believe 
up selling that on my own. It's just it's freaking amazing. <laughs> That's what I would say. It's freaking amazing. Um, it's been all day like 20 knots, so I've been waiting. Um, probably have like, I don't know, 15 to 20. And um, yeah, I've been a chicken. I put two ribs, uh, a little bit of the jeep. And uh, I'm just sailing very conservatively because I'm on my own uh, with about 60 degrees. Like, I know I could do 10, but it's the end of the day. I'm just cruising. <laughs> I'm staying at 8. I can't believe I'm a chicken, but I think it's better to um, spend a long day out in your swim, scrub the boat, do lots of little jobs. So I think it's better just to, um, to be safe. Um, and just uh, be at the end of a good weekend and looking forward to dock the boat so um, yeah and I'm just worried like the, it has been like just at 20 22 knots so I'm in the lee of peel so that's that's why I'm I'm being I'm chickening a lot <laughs> um, but yeah I just don't want to get a couple of 22 knots with and yeah and go ah so there she is Better than the sunset on your boat, and uh, yeah, nothing better than the sunset. Uh, almost there, I'll be there in 10 minutes. So, no big sale and everything, motoring, talking, yeah, we're fine. And um, I don't want it to end, <laughs> I just want to continue sailing <laughs> on my own, on my boat. Uh, it's so beautiful. So. There so we go. So I'm safely dark and uh, it was an event. Close. 15 knots of wind. Um, I guess at 17. So I learned a few things. I did a few mistakes um, which I knew about. I just should be careful next time. I could put my Lego board down um, much earlier. And what does he do? Um, yeah, I could have like I felt like shaking a reef. Um, ended up having almost a full jib at the end of it. It was just uh, uh, just under power. But I guess sunset sailing dusk on my own for the first time, I couldn't ask too much. Um, so something else I did. Um, Wait, anyway, what? That's oh yeah, the car, the car for the jeep track. I uh, should have put it forward. Uh, if I'm gonna use, if I'm gonna unfurl it less, I need to put it forward. So, I'm gonna remember that for next time. Um, and yeah, a few, few, that's that's about it already. Um, be good. Uh, coming back to the harbor, um, dropping this, the jeep like downwind, very very beautifully, and then putting on the the about facing the wind, dropping the main, like was. <laughs> very grateful, oh, like a ballet. I'm pretty happy with myself. There's 15 knots of breeze and Raby Bay is very narrow, so you arrive there doing like 8 to 10 knots. <laughs> um, a beam which you may yeah, potentially takes about 2 minutes <laughs> about to go from one mud bank to the other, so um, I was happy. It worked very well, and uh, yeah, Doc was looking was. On the event and I am um, 
can't wait until next time I go out. So, hasta la vista.